nothing like living a simple life. Something about those aches and pains from working on the farm. Hey everybody, it is Eric, the owner of Far Point Farms, and tonight I'm gonna be checking out this cool thing. We watch Mini Projector. This thing is like a, a projector, but mini. <laughs> so let's go again. And unbox this booger. I'm excited to see it. You know how shipping is these days. Uh, this thing took forever to arrive due to uh, the shipping issues that the world is having. But I'm glad it finally made it here. It is kind of an all-in-one. Get the rest of the stuff out here. It's kind of an all-in-one doodad. It allows you to project a movie or TV show or whatever it is you want to play onto um, a wall. That pretty much sums it up. Yeah, I mean, these things were unobtainium. These things were so expensive that uh, there was just no way you were ever going to afford something like this. And now they've become quite reasonable. Look at that big old lens right there. Isn't that cool? And you got some, looks like some either vents or speakers. Nice. You can even put it on a stand, it looks like. Cool. So on the back here, it looks like we've got power in, speaker out. And then we have a USB in and an HDMI uh, either in or out. That must be an in, I imagine. Up on top here, we have a little focus. That's cool. Not a lot to it, is there? That's amazing technology. And we got our little uh, warranty information here. Mini projector quick start guide. Yep. So it shows the different things being plugged in and plugged out. We got a power button somewhere. There's the power button right there. Plugged into the wall. And then the projector is going to show us some different options. And I bet you it's fairly straightforward as far as how this works. 65 watts, power consumption. It is 1080p and 120 inch maximum screen size. Pretty awesome. USB 2.0, HDMI 1.4. Uh, screencasting from Android and iOS as well. That's interesting. Uh, three watt full range, two speakers. So it does have built in speakers. Cool. Yeah, right, man. I totally want to play with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a USB stick. I'm going to load some uh, non-copyrighted material onto it, and we are going to project this onto the inside of my garage here, and we'll see what we can find. Does that sound fun? Let's do it. Oh, wait. Before I do that, I guess, <laughs> I guess I better unpack the rest of it. I'm kind of excited, obviously, to play with this thing. So let's check it out. And it looks like I can get it out of there. A relatively uh, simple looking US or uh, remote control. Right, on off, mute, home button. Cool. And it looks like it takes two AAA batteries. And then here is our power supply, which we will definitely be needing. Okay. Good. That's it. There's not a lot to it, is there? So I'll plug this in, we'll set it up, and we will see how well it displays. I'll comparison of that. Now I don't have a professional screen here, but I know with these things, projecting it onto a uh, you know flat pro professional screen is going to give a much better picture than what I'm going to be able to produce here on a garage door. But what I wanted it for, and unfortunately the weather changed before it arrived, but there probably is a, a warm evening in here. I wanted to set it up. We have a fire pit. I wanted to set up two chairs and a fire pit and display this on the side of my garage outside. You know, roast marshmallows and just hang out and enjoy the nice night. And so um, I'll be waiting for spring. And in the meantime, I'll be using it probably to show some movies off inside here in the garage occasionally. When it's just me out here working on stuff. Pretty cool piece of machinery though, no doubt. Let's try it out. All right. I have to excuse the fact that it is on a uh, garage door. On the outside of the garage door, which is beautifully smooth, this is going to look a lot better. But as you can see, there it is right there. I've got my remote right here. I'm going to pan up to it. And I will say, it is a very bright and clear picture. So I'm real happy about that. And, uh, oh, so it does have Wi-Fi too. Hmm. Let's go and check out a photo or two. These are photos from the farm. <laughs> so it does work really well. And you can flip through it. So if you were to give a slideshow or something, I'm going to zoom in on this too, because you can see it better. There's Godzilla. 
And again, this probably isn't doing it any justice, but picture of my old truck pulling a boat out of the water. Well, there's an advertisement for the Midnight Cafe. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, too, while this grows. I'm going to turn the last light off here in the garage. Right on. Well, it really looks good. Um, let's go ahead and go back. I can figure out how to do that. Yeah, and you have brightness, contrast, sharpness. So there's all the things that a standard television set would have. Sound. And... Huh, interesting. You have your sound, your system. We watch V30SE, not connected to the internet currently, so it doesn't know the that stuff there. Let's go out of here. Hey everybody, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina. Tonight, tonight I have a new tool to review. This is... Alright, what I'm going to do is, um, I know it's like murder because this is probably not even close to the full size of this thing to project. And I don't know how well my camera is doing it any justice, but considering that there's like stuff in the way and there's all kinds of, uh, you know, not a smooth surface here, this is actually a really great picture quality. Like I am shocked at how well this thing is looking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the camera. I'm going to move this thing uh, closer and I might move it farther back. This is as far back as I can get it um, and show the whole thing because my, my door is only, uh, you know, seven and a half feet wide. But uh, maybe we'll just expand it so you just see if I had it way far back, uh, you know, just how big or how clear it would be, you know, say with a 10 foot screen, you know. So uh, give me a second. OK, here it is. And again, it's hard because it's so dark in here now, but this is zoomed in. I've got this thing and I would say that's probably uh, maybe a 42 inch uh, setup right there. And uh, I'll go ahead and play it again so you can get a better idea of how that is to use the last job I had and I found it to be really helpful especially when getting to like caliper bolts stuff like that things were rusted on if you needed air to get loose and this thing would fit in spots that some of the newer ones would not so let me get the camera closer in we'll go ahead and unbox this thing check it out and I'll give it a quick test and also so I want to point out you can see the light flashing um, right. it is very yeah. close that is that is like oh, four feet from the screen to give you an idea how much space you need to project an image. So I would say four, maybe four and a half feet away from the wall. So now I'm gonna pause the camera again. I'm gonna pull it way back, way back. And I wanna see, uh, you know, if I were to use this thing on, you know, the side of a, a business or something like that, uh, which which is re really cool. Or like, I don't know, man, get a couple sheets, tie them together and make, a, make like a big screen, kind of have a little miniature drive-in of your own, right? So let me zoom out on this. Okay, and I'm gonna do that, so just give me one sec. All right, now this is all the way zoomed out, so I'm not sure how well it shows, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go stand in front of it to give you an idea at the size of this thing. So this is, uh, this is in the video that I'm actually putting up here is actually 720p. As you can see, uh, nice and clear, you can read the writing on it, no problem. And again, this is just a garage door. This isn't like a nice smooth cloth. But uh, let me see, I'll go ahead and hit play. We're off of this thing. There we go. Now, one thing I liked about this when I was looking at it online, you can get these yeah, on so Amazon. The, the screen, I don't know if it shows all the way up there, the but gun. Nice I would say this is kind of a package. It comes that's about an eight foot tall impact. screen, probably 12 foot wide right there. The impact and there's plenty of room for focus. Impacts. Plenty of room for focusing, uh, so this would go even farther back. I'm just. I'll tell you what, I'll go even farther back. I'm going to go all the way from one wall to one wall. So that's putting the uh, camera 26 feet away, or I'm sorry, the projector 26 feet away from this. So let's try that. You see a company contacted me. No, I do automotive related videos. Ask me if I do. <laughs> it's really hard for you to see this. No, I own. I have I think I pause it. I several in fact. I hope that paused it. But yeah, you can see uh, I'm way up there. Like this thing is massive. I would say it's. It's probably, well, it's touching the ceiling, which is uh, 18 feet from bottom to top. So, yeah, lots of space, lots of space. Cool. Hey, everybody, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms.
Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina tonight. Tonight I have a new tool to review. All right, so that. Uh, that's it, and that is awesome. Um, the We Watch, it's not very big, it does have a little fan that comes on, had decent speakers, really. Um, and you know, it claims up to I think it was an eight foot screen, but clearly that was double that size at least. And it was still beautifully clear and lots of focus left to go. I don't care how cold it is, we're gonna have a campfire and uh, and sit in the driveway and watch uh, a movie right on the outside of this shop here. And I think it's going to be really cool. So for like somebody who wants to do their own uh, drive-in for someone that wants to have uh, you know, a way to have a, put a presentation up this, this thing is so compact and so lightweight and so affordable that uh, I think that this would be a perfect option for you. Anyway, that'll do it for today. I'm Eric, the owner of Farpoint Farms. And I'm, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love playing with stuff like this. And the fact that I got to, uh, got to try it out is it's just super awesome so anyway take care